Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx youtube channel and this is uh, Mi 11x I am in the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 whatever it is I have just flashed the Android 14 hybrid port from Pixel 7 Pro I have made a dedicated video on that first watch that video in order to flash what all the uh, firmware I have used what ROM I was previously everything will be explained in that video first if you have any doubts regarding that first watch that video now moving into the android 14 changes those are all the main changes people are expecting from android 13 to 14 i am going to explain that in deep uh, regarding that first and foremost thing is the uh, status bar icons you'll get a little bit of tweaking there if you can closely see and if you remember the android 13 there are little bit of tweaking has been done in terms of battery icon wi-fi and even the clock icon and the font is little bit tweaking it's not complete change and in the home screen you also get these options now the animation as you can see once you press and hold here the animation is little bit faster compared to previous version again if i press wallpaper style you get a special window of lock screen and home screen both are now different and if you press this there are wallpaper colors and other colors you can see here the organization whatever they did is different now they have separated lock screen and home screen both of them and clock color and size you can choose from here and you also get some of the presets as you can see clock style and you can see plenty are available now let's try this one this was in trending currently and you can also change the color of it currently it's default if you want to change it to something like this or something like this and you can also increase the intensity of it as you can see and you can also change the size but it's only in two you can't change it randomly here dynamic change or you can make it small let me show you how it is now as you can see this is how the lock screen looks like in android 14 which is customizable which is really good in my opinion and there are some presets again if i keep it default how it looks let's see yeah, the, it looks like this is quite simple and handy and little bit catchy uh, for my eyes at least let me know in the comment section guys these are some uh, cool features they have added in terms of home screen and even the lock screen widgets yeah this is how it looks cool enough and you also get these shortcuts again device controls right left shortcuts you can enable or disable from here more lock screen options you get plenty again here dynamic clock option if you want you can enable or disable from here always show time and info if you want you can do that but it will increase the battery usage they have only mentioned it which is cool in my opinion tap to check phone and lift to check phone those things if you want you can disable them again you can save some battle life moving it other new changes the widgets uh, actually if you press and hold here you get widgets here battery widget you guys know it's been there from android 13 and um, calendar and even chrome widgets you get plenty here what i really like is the whatsapp widgets as you can see and youtube widget a little bit of revamped i already added that and youtube music you can see you can actually customize like this the widget if you press and uh, i will add in the second screen as you can see if you choose any playlist or any songs you currently listening to them those will be uh, listed here this is cool here the widgets have been improved a lot in terms of android 14 as you can see again this is a youtube search you can directly search from here it will revert back to youtube directly the, in terms of widgets i have seen a drastic change here has been improved and clocks again have similar widgets here nothing fancy you get just analog and these kind of things have been given if i press and hold here again there are some presets as you can see four of them which were present but have improved a lot in terms of this android 14 widgets has been improved a lot what i can say here another thing is you can press and hold here as you can see you can directly say the what all the widgets available for particular app and you can even pause the app those who are present already and you can directly go to information of the apps and picture in picture and display over the other apps you can every control has been given here as you can see 
that's fine just this one the animation wise little bit faster than the previous version that's what i noticed as you can see these are the visual changes and then the quick settings panel also you won't find any huge difference in my opinion few more changes has been noticed in the settings panel actually settings panel remains same nothing change here it's still in this uh, black and white only or the color whatever you apply the wallpaper that will be applied to the theme like uh, effect that's present previously but what i really liked in the battery settings you get this battery usage i mean the battery usage pattern it looks like this the graph this is android 14 style actually view by app search system you can do that you can see the actual screen on time from here now this is little bit of tweaking has been done in the battery saver again standard battery saver is there and extreme battery saver there in the options if you go into settings again you get this kind of options frequently used battery usage and by the name you can choose them these all the apps are essential actually and other apps you can make it out uh, less usage i mean if it is frequently used select this it will be go here you can change them that i really like it they are given the native options like this scheduling and reminders are given turn on based on battery level if you turn on that based on percentage it will get automatically turned on and also you can schedule them uh, turn off once it is 90 percent and battery save reminders if you want you can enable or disable them this is little bit of tweaking has been done in terms of uh, battery related settings notifications again it remains same i haven't faced any differences here just this flash notifications if you want you can enable them also you get uh, colors of here screen flash if you have for example if i keep yellow okay preview yeah like this in the background you get flashlight in the screen it will be like this and this one color now you can see the preview no the color of it you need to select here and make it done now let me show you as you can see if and enable that from this settings which is really handy one and new thing what i have noticed here if and you can enable that again uh, one more thing is regarding do not disturb now if you turn on that you will get some of the options you can select messages and calls and apps also you can add them alarm and other interruptions you can select here if you want media sounds touch sounds reminder personalization is the next level in this particular do not disturb mode duration for quick settings again display options you can customize them based upon your uh, requirement i mean you can restrict some of them by seeing the settings you can understand better in my opinion these are the things i have noticed in the settings nothing more here even in the uh, display settings you won't find any new options just this option and the colors this remains same smooth display is the option has been given in this particular uh, android 14 build however there is a port rom but many of the features are still working and one more thing is once you turn on the bluetooth you will get that small icon animation again flashlight you guys can see torch is turning on like that and even if i can show this one as you can see rotation these animations are also added in the android 14 these are the visual changes you will see animations has been made first for example if i press power button as you can see it's a little bit faster compared to previous version what i already shown here also is little bit faster compared to previous version of android and it's smooth actually i have faced uh, that uh, smoothness i mean once i flash this rom i understood the smoothness of android 14 it's really really smooth and really responsive the ui is i hope uh, the next whatever the roms might build pixel experience or whatever the roms evolution x carry is what will be they carry the same smoothness i hope so and this is an hybrid for port but still many of the things have been included here which is really good the major major change will be only in the home screen i mean this particular wallpaper and style lock screen and home screen this is the major visual change you see in this particular android 14 now moving to some of the other settings like safety and status in this particular rom it will get failed obviously it's an hybrid port still not 
it that much uh, good for using as, as a daily driver and L1 certified has been given. I have some benchmark results too. If I can open file manager, yeah, images. You guys can see this is the battery life what I got yesterday, and uh, this is the big gig score 1152 is a single score and multi score is 2773. And the kernel used there is 4.1 282 lineage kernel has been used as of now but once you get official updates of pixel experience and other roms you might get different kernels to support but as of now this is an android 14 build for mi 11x poco f3 or redmi k40 if you have any specific questions regarding this rom you can comment down in the comment section also there is a dedicated group for mi 11x or redmi k40 or the poco f3 f3 join those groups if you have any doubts or if you want any uh, links to the firmware or rom gif file will be getting there by uh, your friends or other people who are present in the uh, group that's it guys if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now and one more small change i have noticed is once you take the screenshot now the icons are little bit bigger compared to a previous version that was small here and also if i hold yeah a share option something yeah select this is present screenshot again if i share here you can see this image should look bigger actually in the next version this is not as of now implemented in this particular port it should look uh, bigger if i once keep it uh, share like this it should look bigger and these icons should be uh, modified differently that's the new change and this uh, pill also little bit bigger in the android 14 that change has been not included in this port that's it guys we'll meet with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now